Hello, friends, and welcome back to Strengthen Your Walk. I'm Kim Crable, and delighted to have you joining me today. As we end our discussion about what to do while you wait, I want to conclude with words from King David, Psalms 27, 14. He says, wait for the Lord, be strong. Let your hearts take courage, wait for the Lord. Sandwiched between the two wait for the Lord statements, we see two strong principles to implement while we wait. I believe his words are written this way to show us that as far as our waiting time goes, we can not only begin strong, but we can also finish strong. You see, King David tells us to be strong. This is an invitation to never give up. He knows that you and I will be tempted to lose heart and walk away because he was. But in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6, we see how David found his strength. It says David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. You see, like David, we can use our waiting times to be with our Lord, to sit in his word, and because his word is active and alive, according to Hebrews 4.12, we can allow that word to continuously do its work within us, making us stronger in our weight. Be strong, he says, and then let your heart take courage. David lets us in on a little secret here, I believe. It's additional proof that our waiting is not passive time. He says, take courage. David is telling us to take courage because he knows having courage will not just come naturally especially during the waiting times of life. He's saying we can't just sit back and wait on courage to come to us. It is something in which we must be proactive. We must take charge. And to me, this means we face whatever our fears are and do what is needed, even while we're afraid. Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the assessment that something else is more important than the fear, President Roosevelt said. What in your heart is more important to you than the fear that you're facing? What is it that God doesn't want you to walk away from, but courageously walk into? Before my mom passed away, she and I had such great discussions, but her last words to me, gosh, they were, Kim, don't live like I'm dying. This is what was in my heart. And I had to find the strength and the courage to understand and confront them. But that meant facing what I'd always run from, my hurts, my life, to find God's healing and hope. I spent many days in the waiting rooms with God, diving into his word, allowing him to do a work on my broken heart. My waiting was not passive, nor will yours be. Waiting is intentional, strategic, and with an active and committed mindset to do whatever God is asking of us. Remember, dear friends, waiting is a place of God's great work. Stay strong. It is your preparation time for all that God has before you, and He does have great plans for you. So be strong in your wait and wait upon the Lord. Thank you so much for joining me these past few days as we've discussed what to do while you wait. I do pray that these messages have brought strength for your walk.